I think it's pretty safe to say that Roborock's vacuum portfolio has expanded very extensively in the Malaysian market. And today this is the Roborock G10 robot vacuum. And this one is a little different because this one focuses on being a mopping vacuum more than just being a conventional robot vacuum that just takes out all the dust and dirt from the floors. This is the only variant that's available, meaning when you buy this G10, it will come with a docking station, or as I would like to call it, a luxury apartment with its own dedicated parking space. The best part about this robot vacuum is that when it's mop focused, it's insanely mop focused. With a runtime of 140 minutes on a single charge, it can clean up to 3,200 square feet of your home. So I think that's a pretty large space and I think that's pretty decent. But the most important feature here is that it's auto cleaning. So there are two silos inside this docking station, which you'll see from when you open the top lid. So you can see a printed piece of paper in there that shows which one has the clean water and which one is for the dirty water. So this clean one, you fill up with water and the dirty one, you don't really do anything unless it's filled up with the dirty water that the G10 has collected into its water tank. And with the auto mop washing feature, it basically drives the cleaning module during the cleaning mode to brush the mop at 600 RPM to remove the excess dirty water from the water tank and drive it into the dirty silo which you will empty. And when it's docked, the mop actually lifts up because you don't want to be dragging the dirt across the floor again when it's done mopping. And it also kind of assists in drying because obviously this will be a very moist mop piece of cloth. So that eventual passive drying in a couple of hours while it's charging is rendered quite essential if you, if I do say so myself. Okay, time to close that lid down. But Zen, how does the G10 fare as a vacuum cleaner that's focused for, you know, sweeping? Uh, well, I can tell you now that this can be used to sweep and not mop, but I would say the suction power is pretty standard, as in everybody would be using this level of suction power, which would be 2500 PA. If you want something a little more powerful, and by little, I mean 100% more powerful, I would always opt for in my daily driver, the S7 Max V, which has up to 5,100 PA of suction power, which is insanely great for things like carpets. This is actually my carpet trooper right here. And yeah, this one can uh, sweep your carpets as well, but I would not say that it will do just as good a job as this one over here. And I think the silver lining here is, yes, this RoboVacuum definitely knows when it's going to a carpet, so it would lift up the mop so that it doesn't make that carpet uncomfortably moist. So it's smart enough to do that. Sensor-wise, it has its own LiDAR slam sensor, just like every other RoboRock. And in terms of the experience, it's commanded by the companion app, which you should have. So download it from the Play Store or the App Store and install it, register, uh, connect it via 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. Let it run and scan that initial setup during initial setup, and you're good to go. So it can do everything else on the app, just like every other RoboRock vacuum cleaner. So you can save your rooms, you can specify no-go zones if you don't want this vacuum to mop a certain area. That's about it. That's a very simple procedure. So for the battery life, like I said, uh, more than 140 minutes and it takes about four to five hours to charge. So you're gonna have to leave this one here overnight to fully charge it back again, which I recommend. And it has a 4,500 milliamp battery, if I'm not wrong. So that's pretty fine. You gotta know what you wanna do with your robot vacuum because like I said, the portfolio is very extensive for RoboRock. If you want something that's mop focused, you wanna mop more, and you want to vacuum by yourself, this is the way to go. And it's so incredibly hands-free because it auto washes the mop and pushes all the dirty water into the dirty tank. And all you have to do is just change the waters, empty out the dirty one and fill up the clean one so that you can get up and running again. And to the question of whether you can put detergent or any sort of cleaning agent now, just because it's a mop focused vacuum, not yet. You can't just put any, but Roborock actually does sell 
cleaning solutions in bottles in the international market. It's just not here in Malaysia yet. And apparently, from what I know, it sells quite well outside of the country. For value, I would say that because this actually costs over 3,000 ringgit, this is a pretty hefty investment, but for me as a person that's more tech oriented and rather lazy to mop, again, if my goal is to mop, this is definitely the way to go. This can outdo a lot of other Roborock vacuums out there that also has a mopping function, just like the S7. So I wouldn't expect my S7 to mop just as good a job as this one, but because this one costs more or less the same, you can also buy the docking station, which is even bigger than this one, and it has a triple silo. So it has the same two silos for the clean and dirty water, and that one has an auto dustbin emptying function. So it also just empties out the dustbin, which you use here during your sweep. So that's significantly more useful, but that's significantly more expensive at about over 5,000 ringgit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so about the tank, yeah, it's about 300 over milliliters in the tank, but the water tank of the robot vacuum is about over 200 milliliters, and the dustbin is about 400 milliliters, and uses the same HEPA filter that you'll see on other Roborock vacuums. So I, if I have to give any tips, I would say like, if you're a first time owner, be sure to let your robot vacuum cleaner run in the same cleaning space from the app a couple of rounds so that it can scan the map and room better. The LiDAR sensor not only scans the first time to generate a map, but it also detects essential mapping info to know whether it's in which room since you can save several maps of different rooms within the app. You can also schedule cleaning. So you know, if you want to have to clean it and clean your house in the morning or you had a party last night and you spilled some stuff on the floor, you can schedule it for the morning and it's all automated from your app. So there's that ease of use. And again, hands-free experience. You don't have to do anything. You just need to let the G10 do its business, go back to the cleaning station and fill it up with dirty water and replenish the clean water all over again. Easy. Thank you guys for watching. This is Zendegeek. I'll see you guys in the next video.